Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. So I've seen lots of people asking me how to improve the duels in this game and I haven't really made any videos on how to train. If you are interested in doing that, today's video will have 5 ways you can train in arcade to improve your skills in Battlefront 2. So like I said, we'll be going into arcade and these first 3 are gonna be in the versus tab so you will need a spare controller active logged in on a separate account. If you're on PC or you don't have a spare controller then you can still do the last 2 tips but apparently everyone on PC is really good anyway, so that shouldn't matter. So just copy the settings on screen here and then load it. Feel free to choose light side or dark side, it doesn't really matter, whichever one you prefer. Firstly, we'll be practicing hook swings. Now for this you want to put an elastic band on the block button of the controller to keep them blocking, and then you want to try and practice to get through their block without hitting them. I know originally I thought that arcade made this harder, but it turns out I was just doing it wrong and my sensitivity was too low. So yeah, it's definitely possible to do this very consistently. And I'd also recommend practicing jumping on either side of Dooku, because you do have to run shoulder to shoulder with him, to try and test out which side feels more comfortable to you. For me, it definitely feels more comfortable to run on the left side of Dooku. Being able to hook swing consistently in a duel is very useful and if you find that you hit your enemy's block like I just did there, this can cost you a duel sometimes and lose you the availability to win. As you can see here I had practiced this time so I ran on the left side of Dooku and I got the kill. If you're going for a hook swing in a duel, you'll only usually have one opportunity to do so, and if you mess it up by hitting your enemy's block, this can be pretty frustrating, so being able to consistently pass through your enemy's block is very useful. Okay, so for our next thing, we're going to be practicing getting two hits off an ability. Me personally, I decided to use pull dominance, because as you just saw there, I wasn't very good at it. I have gotten a lot better at this by doing the straining technique, and all you really need to do is just get a decent distance away, and then use pull, and try and use the jump attack into two hits like I just displayed there. Now, you can do this with other abilities like Kylo Ren's Freeze, or you can practice lunging, although lunging does work a bit differently. But as you can see that I just missed the pull into two hits, and my enemy had a chance to kill me, although they did mess up and use choke. So if you can consistently do this and get two hits, Anakin suddenly becomes a beast, and all the other heroes do as well, because the amount of damage you get when you can get two hits consistently honestly transforms the character, or at least it does for me. For this next one, you'll need to set up the block with the elastic band again, and then what you're doing is you're trying to phase through your enemy's block with abilities like Dash Strike, Defensive Rush, or Claw Rush. Dash Strike and Defensive Rush are pretty similar in the way that you should do them. You should run to the side of your enemy a little bit and then look into their hitbox. With Defensive Rush though, I find that every second time you do it, your enemy just gets hit for sparks. And I'm not sure why this is, it's probably something to do with arcade, so if this happens, just pretend like you actually hit them, because in a real game that would have connected. With Claw Rush, you sort of just want to look down and go straight at them and not try to like curve around or anything, although I do see a lot of players doing this. I think as a Grievous main, this is the most consistent way to land Claw Rush. So as you can see here, we're having a pretty even duel and then I land the Nash Strike and I get two hits with a Snagger and now suddenly I'm in complete control over the duel and it's just a matter of finishing it. Something that I just realized and that I should probably mention is that for Obi-Wan, Rey, and Grievous, for all those heroes, I used the start card that increases the damage of their abilities. So I think this is because since when you become consistent with these abilities and landing them on your enemy, when you can guarantee extra damage, it's pretty useful, although for someone that only lands the ability half the time, that card wouldn't have much use. Moving on, we're going to be going into solo arcade this time, so everyone that has Battlefront should be able to do this. Copy down the settings on the screen, and make sure that you're set to heroes only so you don't have to bother getting battle points, because this is a big waste of time. Okay, so once you load in, the first thing that you'll be practicing is bunny hops. I don't know if you've seen this on my channel, but bunny hops is when you're chaining consecutive hook swings or just jump attacks together, and you can do this by holding block and then jumping each time you hit the ground, and then swing at the peak of those jumps. And you can do this as many times as you want until you run out of stamina, and being able to control how many times you do this and not mess it up in a duel, as you can see by the clips on screen, allows you to do some pretty crazy stuff. The other thing you can practice in arcade is animation cancels, in a pretty similar fashion. You just want to dodge back and forth and try and animation cancel each time and see how many you can get in a row. You, if the enemies come close, you can also try doing lunges into animation cancels and just try and do animation cancels all the time. 
The theme throughout this video has been training things in arcade for consistency so that when you have the opportunity to use it in a duel, you know that you can. And when you be able to be really consistent with these core mechanics, you suddenly become a much better duelist. So yeah, I hope this video answered a couple of the questions about how you can try and improve and get better at duels in this game. And if it did, make sure to hit the like button. And consider subscribing since I'll be making lots more videos like this in the future. And with that being said, have a great day and I'll see you out on the battlefront. Thank you.